What up, y'all? It's your boy Hack to the Tech to the Get That Check. Right, right now we're in Corona Queens. I'm at this spot called a Jardin de China. About to, about to eat some good food. Oh snap, they trying to get out. Oh, shit. My bad. Yeah, so I'm at this spot called El Jardin de China. You know what I'm saying? And uh, now we do. Gotta get up in this parking real quick. to get some food and shit. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Don't get in the way, kid. I ain't trying to get... I ain't trying to get sued out this... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Anyway, it is brick out. I ain't gonna lie. It is brick out. It is brick out. Now, since I'm in Corona, Queens, it reminds me of this Spanish cat that I heard about from Corona, um, from Corona, Queens. Um, his name is... Uh, Um, uh, his name is uh, GB Tribuvelli. Tribuvelli. You know what I mean? I I heard him. I heard him on the um, on the song with Anthony Patria. Anthony Patria. I think he also from Corona Queens. Um, from around here, and um, he um. Uh, and he was a up and coming rapper. He was doing some good numbers as a, as a Spanish man. He was a uh, um, he was um, Hispanic, and he was um, he was half Ecuadorian, and he was half Dominican. He was a Trinitario. He was in the gang Trinitarios. And um, what happened was, my puppy wanna do a little video with y'all. So yeah, so what happened was, he was a Trinitario and, uh, and look, I got the story right here in front of me. Cruel twist in Queens custody fight Mother accused of killing her baby's father shares joint custody with his heartbroken mom. It's crazy because I was watching this cat on YouTube. He was making songs with Anthony Patria. He was making songs with uh, Famo Banga. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, he, he was making songs with a bunch of cats. You know what I mean? Like he was on his way up, man. You know what I mean? Like, like as a Spanish dude, but nobody really talked about his death. You know what I mean? People talk about all these other rappers' death, but nobody brought light to to what happened to him. Don't nobody speak about it, but I'm here to speak about it. Check it out. I got the story right here. It's a bitter custody battle with a deadly twist. A queen's mom accused of fatally stabbing the father of their infant daughter now shares the one-year-old girl with the dead man's uh, devastated mother as a suspect awaits trial for the murder of her one-time lover. The creepy custody arrangement leaves baby 
Jadeline, Jadeline splitting time between her grandma and accused killer, Katie Mino. Currently free on 50,000 bond in a June 4th stabbing. Wow. I didn't even hear about this kid until after, after June. It was after June. Like I heard about him like, I forgot. But <clears throat> anyway, I thought he was still alive. But then I read this and it was crazy. The first time I... Um, the creepy custody arrangement leaves baby Jadalyn, um splitting time between her grandmom and her accused killer, Katie Maino, currently free on 50,000 bond in a June 4th stabbing. Maino was charged until three months after the death of ex-boyfriend Jonathan Estevez, allegedly slain in an escalated argument over the care of their little girl. The first time I had to see her, there were so many hard feelings, said grandmother. Cariño Coelho, Coelho, who has temporarily custody of the child, is still stressful. The 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 the, the cordial suspect in statement to investigators after the killing demanded an attorney and claimed the 25-year-old victim stabbed himself in the neck during the confrontation at her mother's home, Queen's home. She said he hurt himself. That's what she said. She insisted after the killing. What the F are we supposed to do? He hurt himself. He'll wake up in a couple hours. Go and go ask him. Go and investigate him. Interrogate him. Even worse, according to the the according to the victim's family, Estevez was only staying with Mino's mother and watching the child because she moved in with a new boyfriend who allegedly threatened the young father with a gun on multiple occasions. Estevez stayed even after police were called to the house in May because Mino was hitting her mother, Secoello. He said, I can't believe the baby in this house, recounted Coelho, even though we were threatening him. He gave his life, he gave his life for that little girl. So she, so she would not be harmed. Mayno was charged with murder, manslaughter, and weapons possession in the death with an upcoming January 6th court date. The victim's outraged father blasted government Cuomo for bail reforms that let her walk the streets while he can only visit his son in the Queen's mausoleum. He's letting all these prisoners out on bail and John Estevez, 49, in North Airport, LA. I guess to save cash on prisons. According to the heartbroken Coelho, who read texts on her slain son's phone after his death, there is evidence the killing was premeditated. She said one of the texts sent by my, me, by his ex-girl or girl, whatever she was, might know, Read bluntly, tell Jonathan to leave my house or I'll stab him. Mino's attorney, Jana McNutley, insists her client is the victim and the killing was in self defense. There's a lengthy history of physical and other emotional uh, sexual abuse by, by the, the deceased. Deceased, she said, and the incident, what had happened. It was an act of self-defense because the violence and rage had escalated. Estevez, the, the second oldest of six siblings, was in a good place on the day of his death. The aspiring hip-hop artist's career was trending up with his YouTube clips collecting tens of thousands of views. One collaboration with another performer, which is the one, Anthony Patria, garnered more than 600,000 views while a solo performance under his Nam de Rap GB Trebu Valley broke the 100,000 mark. He was getting his life together, said John Estevez. His career in rapping was about to take off for him. He had an album that was coming out soon. Under the bizarre child care arrangement that began when the accused killer was freed after a jail stay on Rikers Island, Coelho dropped Jadalyn off twice a week with, with Mino for supervised, 
for supervised visits of two hours. Coelho arrived 30 minutes before and after her son's accused killer to avoid the discomfort of seeing the suspect's face. They took my son's life away, said Coelho. What can I say? It's not, it's not something that can be equal. Justice is moving, but slowly. On the fourth month anniversary of Jonathan's death, family and friends gathered at the mausoleum where his ashes were interred. One month later, the still mourning Coelho posted a moving Facebook message about her lost child. When the mother sees her son without life, she feels like the death t tears her inside. Her dreams, her delusions, she wrote, I'll tell you that I will never accept the fact that you are dead. On the contrary, you live more than ever in your kids, your family, your friends, your music. That is heartbreaking. Rest in peace to GB, Tribal Valley. You know what I mean? I wanted to do a collabo. Um, too bad that couldn't happen, but um, you know, that's what happened, so. You know, so uh, we got our Latin Hispanic brothers in the rap game that are coming up getting killed too. I think it's just a curse. You know what I mean? It's a big curse. Rappers are just getting killed because people are taking them out before they get their time to shine. People don't want that. Honestly, I think the girl was jealous that he was going to get all his fame and he was just going to leave her in the dirt. That's my thought, you know what I mean? But anyway, it's your boy Hack to the Tech to the get that check and I'm out. One time, two time, three time, four time. Peace.